The Rakuja experience is uh, the experience of Korean culture. It's not simply lodging. By staying here, uh, our guests can experience all of Korea. The neighborhood that we're located is the uh, Bukchon um, Hanok village. It's refreshing. It doesn't feel like you're in Seoul. It, uh, everything's very quiet. There's a lot of Korean traditional guest houses in this area, but uh, what makes Rakuja unique is that we've um, kind of placed a lot of emphasis on uh, our guest health. Uh, for example, our rooms have uh, natural jade flooring. We've also placed emphasis on convenience, where each room has its own private bathroom. Uh, the majority of rooms have a um, hinoki wooden bath, so uh, which is also very popular with our guests. Patio room is my favorite room in this entire house because of the patio. And when the weather's nice in the spring or the uh, fall, it's uh, great to sit outside on the patio, read a book, um, have a glass of makoli, and just kind of hang out. Our food that we offer here is um, traditional Korean forced meals. The menu actually changes based on um, seasonal ingredients. It's all sourced from the representative um, cuisines of each Korean province and it's our efforts to kind of introduce Korean cuisine to each and every one of our guests. Uh, Hanoks are very important because it's a dying art form. It's a Korean traditional art form or architecture that actually does need to be preserved for future generations. Our guests, actually many, many of our guests say that they would actually rather come stay at a Hanok rather than a hotel because um, a hotel is something that can be experienced anywhere in the world. And uh, when you come to Korea, uh, they want to experience something that's uniquely Korean that can't be experienced anywhere else. And uh, that's why staying at Hanok is such a special experience.